My name is Gary Derbyshire. I'm International Development Manager for the Met Office. Just to take a step back from that, um, the weather affects everybody. Whether we like it or not, it has an impact on our lives. Whether it be making the decision to take a brolly out, or whether it will affect um, a company in the winter on a distribution, um, whether you need to grit the roads, or whether there's been flooding in some areas of the country to warn the public, it affects everybody and all things to do with um, people's transportation, flights, um, their everyday lives. The, the Met Office has been around for more than 100 years and we set off on, on a journey of providing maritime forecasts to the um, shipping transport around the British Isles. But NIMET, the Nigerian Meteorological Agency, are going through this evolutionary journey, just like the UK Met Office, where we now developed, from that point where we're just issuing forecasts, we're developing services to different important sectors, different industries. And we've been doing this for the past 30, 40, 50 years. And this allows us to develop as an organisation because it complements our work that we're providing to the public, to government, uh, to important uh, emergency responders. It allows us to develop the science and make it relevant to industry. Industry asks us to um, push the boundaries and, and develop new innovative services which will protect, protect their interests, which will make them more efficient, which will protect their workforce, so it's got a complementary aspect to the overall role that we play, combining our public role and our role providing industry with their uh, important services. I think local content is, is, is now moving more into in-country value. That's, that's how I see it. Just like I mentioned earlier about the evolutionary process that um, economies nations go through. The, the, the local content supports economic growth within countries. And the reverse of that, of course, is that it reduces poverty. So if you can, if you can support the economy by issuing good weather and climate information to individuals, to um, companies, to governments, it allows them to make the right decisions to perform their activity and their roles, whether it be going, people going to work, travelling to work, or whether it's the industry that is actually uh, performing its, its specific role in the economy. So you are stimulating activity within the economy, you're employing people, uh, and you're increasing the expertise of the population. Um, the, the work with NIMET allows us to share our experience, our technology, our, um, our, our expertise in, in forecasting, our modelling. And, 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 and we're, by doing this, we can support the international companies that are working in Nigeria, allow them to tap into our world-class science with NIMET, where they can complement the uh, project by using their local presence, their local capabilities themselves. And we have an opportunity here to really improve on what's already been delivered in the market. I mean, the Met Office uh, has, a, has a worldwide reputation in, in development. And, and that development can, can take many strands. We can support those countries that have unfortunately gone through civil war, for example, I refer to Sierra Leone, where the infrastructure within that country was um, fairly decimated with the civil war. So we spent um, a long time working closely with the, um, the Met service there to help build them up, almost from a, a point where there was no Met services available. So we've, we've had important teams working in there, supporting their efforts, and the same in Rwanda. Rwanda went through um, a, a war crisis, and at the end of the war, when peace comes into 
into play, they need to rebuild their infrastructure. And, and the infrastructure includes an important meteorological service. Because like I said earlier, um, weather is important, it, it supports economic activity, economic growth. So by, by enabling the Rwanda Met Service to, to re refocus, to, to uh, train up its forecasters, to build up a critical mass of expertise there, they're able to deliver forecasts to the important sectors and also to, their, um, to the local populations.